Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. How's it going, man? Alhamdulillah. What's your up to nowadays? Not much. Enjoying the weather. How about you? I was enjoying the weather until I got a question. People be messed up, dude. This lady emails me and says she's expecting, mashallah. And her husband tells her that we can't afford a baby, so you should abort. Oh my god. Like how he could say that, I don't understand. Like we don't have it is, this is not the time, and he's even dropping some religious justification in there. Subhanallah. And they said things like, oh, you know, in the first few months, uh, the angel hasn't blown in the soul to the baby yet, so it's not really a human, so it's all good. Now the thing of, of all of this is, um, I'm not in a position to give fatwas, right? And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm never going to do that. But first of all, to cite that we cannot afford this child. And then of course, all the other religious justifications are later. The real reason mm -hmm. is the guy wants, doesn't want to spend money, right? So for money, he's willing to take a human life. That's what he's willing to do. Which is the most absurd, offensive thing. And it's particularly mentioned in the Quran, something the mushrikun used to do. وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَوْلَادَكُمْ مِنْ إِمْلَاقِ And خَشْيَةَ إِمْلَاقِ Don't kill your children because you're poor, because of bankruptcy. And don't kill your children because in the future you're afraid of becoming bankrupt. نَحْنُ نَرْزُقُكُمْ وَإِيَّاهُمْ We're the ones, we provide you and we provide them. And he's oh, missing that. He's, now the thing is, in that ayah, if you violate it, if you violate that ayah, then you violated the entire ayah. Yes? Mm -hmm. You know what that means? That Allah will stop providing you. You, pro you blocked Allah's way of providing to this child, and you ended up killing this child because you thought they're not, you're not going to be able to provide for them. And Allah is saying, what did you think? You provide for them? I do. Like Allah takes credit for it Himself. And if you deny that, then you're denying your own road to this. Like if this person's so seriously scared about money, they should be really scared if they even even suggest this idea. And for the you know the, the sister, I haven't responded to her yet. But what I would probably tell her is that she needs to hold her ground, yeah. and she needs to, you know, this is her baby, and this is a gift that Allah has given her. Her and no husband has a right to say that. Husbands do not have the right to say that. That is just absolutely wrong. I don't know where they get the idea that they have the right. You know. This is, oh, subhanAllah, it's a life that Allah owns, not us. We don't have a say in it. We really don't, you know? So may Allah Azza wa make the situation of these kinds of women easy, man. This, sometimes wives are messed up and sometimes husbands are like epic messed up. So what about uh, situations where, you know, some, some people, it's, it's not marriage, maybe someone um, was abused and then they, they ended up conceiving. I mean, how do you... That's a completely different situation, but even then, the concept, the, the idea of abortion is something else. It should be said about those kinds of cases that that child should not be considered cursed, because that's what society does, right? Auladu zina and this and that, and that's not that's not an Islamic concept to consider that this child is illegitimate and therefore they they are treated less than others. Now, in Western society, that's not a problem marriage out of wedlock and children out of wedlock. But in Eastern society, traditional religious cultures, Muslims included, it's a major, major problem, right? Mm. Now, zina itself is really bad, or, or rape, or whatever may have happened. That's a crime, and that's dealt with separately. But this child is not supposed to pay the price of somebody else's mm. crime. They're not supposed to do that. As traumatic as that may be for the mother, you know, it's this child is not supposed And I'm not talking about abortion, because I don't know. That's yeah. a separate issue. But what I am talking about is, just that child should not be stigmatized. Mm. And the, the overarching principle that protects that child from being stigmatized is one statement from Allah. One, one saying says it all. We honored all children of Adam. That child is also a child of Adam, which means they're dignified by Allah. Which means at, at, at a certain point in the pregnancy, a ruh came and was blown into that child also. Mm. And that ruh was also from Allah. You know, Allah sent it. Angels also descend on these these mothers, right? Yeah. So that's not something we can take away from them. You know, there's the complicated side of this problem, yeah. which is 
you know, the 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 abortion itself. Yeah. Right. Which I personally don't see how you can justify, but there may be arguments. I don't know. I don't know them, and that's something for Qaha deal with. But the the moral side of this, and the you know what's what's in the best interest of this baby, that's a separate problem yeah. altogether. So but ultimately, the the husband doesn't have the right to tell the wife, and that that's her body, and that's, that's it. her choice. Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. May Allah help the Muslims, man. Amen. Barakallahu alaykum. See you next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaykum.